this is Average Joe Sports Talk, and this is another episode of Friday Night Lives. And this is a very special Friday Night Lives because tonight we're going to deem it Cooking with Cochran. Um, this is the defensive coordinator's wife, Ms. Shannon Cochran, from Oxford. And um, Friday Night Lives is brought to you by Aligned Insurance and Auto Owners Insurance. And when you're looking for that, look for Michael Delosier. You know by now he's the handsome bald guy in the suit. And ladies, he's single. So look for that. But I'm going to, tonight we're going to be making twice baked potatoes. I'm going to let you tell us about these okay. massive potatoes. So, I chose twice baked potatoes because um, this is one of the defense's favorite at Oxford that I cook for them. They always ask for twice baked potatoes and banana pudding. Okay. So, I thought that this is what we would make in honor of them. So, I've already baked the potatoes and we've already cut a few of them. So, we're just going to cut this baked potato in half and then we want to scoop out all the good stuff and leave just a little bit of a shell just so that it holds its shape. And I'm gonna let you scoop Oh, some. good, okay. <laughs> you guys are in for such a treat. Okay, I have my potato organ bowl. This is what, this is what I imagine like Ed Gein had a bowl of organs. Do you think that he's throwing people's body pieces out? But you can do it with any size, but the smaller ones you have to be careful because they will fall apart. And you did 150 of these the other day, right? I did. For the entire football team, instead of feeding just the defense, we um, fed the entire football team. Let me be clear. There's okay. nobody I love enough to scoop 150 potatoes out for. Well, you're fixing to get married. When your hubby asked you to do something like that for his boys, you tell him to get a mistress <laughs> that can cook. But I love cooking for them. Lucky pace. Okay. What do we right. think? So about you're good. You're, that is perfect. Uh -huh. That's perfect. So you can use a potato masher or I just like to use my kitchen mixer because it's easy. And I just, we're going to see. I'm not sure all these are going to fit in here. Let's, oh, they might. We're going to try it. And we have to give Buddy and Diana Ford the shout out for the KitchenAid mixer. Like I went and picked it up and I got to see their baby. Baby on. He's so cute. Alright, so there are, of course we're going to add salt and pepper because potatoes are not good without salt. They're too bland without them. That's true. So we're going to add a little bit of that. I think all twice baked potatoes probably have some bacon bits in them. So we're going to add some bacon bits. No so more, because bacon's good. These are not kosher. <laughs> Vegan pies. And butter. Butter, y'all. Butter. Can you pass me that spoon? Spoon, sure. Sour cream. So I have two things that I think that make them really good. One is I put cream cheese in, just a little bit. You can't taste the cream cheese, but it does something to the flavor. I feel like that's the best part. Yes. <laughs> and I grade my own cheese. That's my other secret. That's not really a secret, but it doesn't, um, you know, when you buy pre-shredded cheese, it has the little powdery coating on it mm -hmm. to keep them from sticking together. Well, it also keeps it from melting. To where it's, it does melt, but it's just not as good. Not as even. Yes. Okay. So, those are my two secrets. Alright, so we're just going to, we don't want them to be like mashed potatoes. Um, we, we still want it to be a little chunky. So, I just real, just breaking up some of those big pieces and mixing up the butter and all the other good stuff. Now, what is your catering company called? Well, I don't really have a company. Um, I just help out friends sometimes, so we don't really have a name. Let's call it Cooking with Cochran. Yeah. Or call me Alabama. Oh, I think that's taken though. Caller, caller. I don't. You want to be associated with Happy Times? Not really. <laughs> if you want to sue someone and get some money. It's, let's see. Sorry, mine's a little different. Um, all right, and it's going, oh, we put the wrong one. You were playing with the things. <laughs> I was like, why is it stuck in here like this? So 
so just in case you're wondering, the KitchenAid mixer comes with attachments. Yes. And if you are undomesticated, like I am, because my parents have failed me miserably, thank you, Rhonda, and your tarragon chicken, this is what I needed. This is my fault. And I didn't, I didn't pay attention. But super handy because these little dicky flages just kind of click right on. And then it doesn't stick somewhere. into there. Okay. You know what? I'm going to let you stick that on there. There's a, there's a rhyme and a reason to it. I don't know what it is though. Okay. Let's put this Cooking is not my spiritual gift. Right. I think we have it enough. I'll just mix it up some with a spoon. Okay, so I think we're good. Okay. And what we want to do is we're going to scoop them back into the potato bar. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Yeah. I'm going to reach. Yeah. Oh, we're just going to eat. Okay. I'm going to let you, you scoop. You want to do it? Nope, I don't. I do not. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. I think you do not want me to do it. I promise. Well, it's you can't mess that up. Oh, you've not seen me in the kitchen. That's what I was telling them earlier that, um, we were joking about taking the smoke alarm out because we kept making something beep and I was like, oh, you know, as long as it's not the smoke alarm, that's usually what beeps at me in the kitchen. And when Madden was small and we lived in Washington State, I would try to pan sear steaks and sometimes they turn out really, really well. And I attribute that to the very nice butcher that we had there. Like it was just a really good <laughs> meat. And the smoke alarms would go off and the house would fill with smoke and Madden would grab like toys and run outside to the front porch. And like Madden was very every man for himself ever since she was little. So that's my cooking forte. Like no one ever calls me up and says, hey, why don't you whip up an Italian feast for all these people? Like only if Mrs. Stouffer's is available. Like that's, I'm not a cook. I'm just not. I try. I try. I enjoy it though. Like that's the thing is like I enjoy getting in the kitchen and tinkering. It just doesn't always turn out the way I want it to. Well, then that's the more you practice, the better you'll be. I'm a big picture person. Like, you know, the on the movie, because it's Christmas, the movie The Santa Claus, where they show yeah. like the roasted turkey and it's on this big table spread and it's at Tim Allen and his son's house, but it's on TV because they're going to the right. That's me. Like, that's my big picture. And my details take me to Denny's. So it's just the way it is. Can't help it. Okay, so we're just going to pop these in the oven for. I'd say maybe about 15 minutes. It's just, you just really just need the cheese and the butter and all that to melt together. And so they're ooey goodness. And our oven is preheated at 375. And apparently preheating an oven is like a legitimate thing that you must do. Who knew? I just always pop frozen beets in there. There we go. And that's the story of twice potatoes. Y'all have a good night. I'm just like, you're all like this. Yeah, well, I'm gonna let her wash her hands. I'll do that. Okay, we're gonna try the kitchen mixer a few times. So, in the meantime, while we're baking, I'm sure I have a few questions that I would just love to shake you down with. Do you have any fun stories? Now, you're the reading teacher. Like, sometimes I'd bring that up in other yeah. Friday Night Live wife interviews i would say like you know you read left to the right i learned that from oxford yes coaches wives so how is school going or have you guys i mean are y'all on thanksgiving break right now well or? today was our last day so we are on thanksgiving break Woo! now oh thank you lord those two days sometimes right before thanksgiving can be rough <laughs> yes <coughs> sorry yes no you're good but um but we made it and so now we're on break until monday until monday so i'm i mean last week was a it was a shocker but are you guys going to do anything spectacular for Thanksgiving now that you'll be home as a family? Well, we always, even if they do make it that far in the playoffs, we all are always home to have Thanksgiving on Thursday. We just don't go anywhere after, you know, we right. don't take a little trip or anything like that. But um, we're not going anywhere. We're still, um, we, because some family are gonna, it's going to be out of town, we did some Thanksgiving last Saturday, and then we're going to do some this Thursday with some of my family. Um, and then we're just chilling, watching football games on TV. Just eating the American Doing dream. a little online shopping, maybe. Um, yeah, so are you going to try to fight the crowds, or are you going to... Um, well, I'm almost done with my Christmas shopping, so... Humble brag! Yeah. <laughs> Humble brag! <laughs> There's um, there's nothing 
nothing really that I need to go out and fight for. So I may do some online stuff, but that's it. That's my problem. The online Black Friday, like that gets me. Like I'll lay in bed and I'll. Target is my number one. It's my it's my Achilles heel. It always has been. Always will be. But whatever they send the link for, like I'm like, oh, a cure it's on sale, and Ben's like, we have two and i'm like well what if one breaks and he's like then we'll have one like a normal person <laughs> like i mean that's what i was his mom was asking like, what do you got what, what would you like for christmas so i'm torn between doing like the responsible thing and going ahead and asking for like home gifts because you know we'll get married next year and i'm sure that he's going to want to eat like i feel like that's one of the things that he likes to do is eat like, i kind of like to eat so i was like i feel like i should ask for like, a kitchen mixer and then like bread maker and then I was like but I also want a Brazilian blowout so I think I'm gonna go for the hair and then just rely on wedding gifts well, you still will have all those showers that is true so uh, that is very true I'm not gonna waste my Christmas on you Pace come on Pacey he hates that by the way this is such such a fun story and he hates it but I um I was not allowed to watch Dawson's Creek did you ever watch that mm -hmm. Wasn't allowed to watch it when I was little. Like, Do you mom, know that it's on Netflix now? Yes. Yes. And My so are watching it. that's me too. Like I've started it. And when Ben first moved to center, everyone called him Pacey. And of course I had the biggest crush on Ben. Like, okay. So I'm wondering like, who's this Pacey guy? My mom would not let me watch Dawson's Creek. And so, I mean, you know, years have gone by. I mean, I'm not going to say how many, but a, a lot. And, um, I saw it on Netflix. Like it was like, for you and I was like for me Dawson's Creek I should watch it well Pacey really does look like Ben and so now I've insisted on calling him Pacey like he looks like high school Ben Pacey doesn't have a beard but um so now I call him Pacey or Pace and he hates it and it's one of those things where I'm like at this point three years like you should know that if you hate something in the way that I show affection it should really lean into it and give you the hardest time in the world about it Maybe don't let me know that you hate it so much. <laughs> so now our wedding invitations will say, you know, please, you're cordially invited to the wedding of Tardon Blanchard and Pacey Spillman. And he's, he's going to be so excited. He's going to love it. He's stuck with me at this point. Yeah. So, what is new with you? Do you have any fun? Like, your kids are watching Dawson's Creek. What are you watching That's, on Netflix? Um, I, I'm watching... Hallmark Christmas movies. Oh, see, look, Misty's over there like, yeah, me too. Are I, you too? I have, I have been watching on my Saturdays and my Sundays while Chad has been at, working at the field house. I have watched Christmas movies and wrapped those presents that I bought. Oh, yeah. Humble brag. Humble brag. I, I feel like if you've seen one Hallmark Christmas movie, you've seen them all. That's what I was about to say. I like, it's just she, she winds up in a small town with a small town guy. Yes. Big time town boyfriend is a jerk and if they don't kiss before well, so, Christmas, like, Santa, Santa Claus does. Santa Claus dies. <laughs> they do all have the same outline. And I, I will attest to that. They do, they do but they make you feel good. They make you feel so and good. They're just they're just happy. Well, everybody happy. In I the like last Mac, 15 minutes. I like National Lampoons and you know Home Alone. I need somebody oh, I do love I love Home Alone and Elf. I love Elf. Elf. Um and I like I do like Miracle on 34th Street too. So I like well, I like some classics too. See, but you like the real happy. My mother finally sat down with us the other night and watched the Griswold Christmas Vacation. And now my mother is very like Rhonda Blanchard holds her pearls sometimes. And so I had to warn her, like, there's some language in this Christmas movie. She's like, there's not cussing in Christmas movies. I was like, sit down. <laughs> Sit down and watch Clark in action because he's going to be the ha ha happiest. I'm just playing. I'm not going to say it. Uh, Let me ask you a question. This is about the uh, Okay. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes. Sudden Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's all, it's, all, it's all on the list. It's like, what's well, your favorite Christmas it's, movie? It's on the list. It's on the list. It, was, it wouldn't be like what I would consider a traditional Christmas movie just because Christmas style. happens in it. <laughs> well, you know, whatever. whatever. And my brother would like to know, he'd like to know from a professional standpoint, is sweet potato casserole a side or a dessert? Oh, I don't know. That's hard. That was Bailey's number one. I item. normally put it on the dessert table. Really? But Chad normally eats it with his other regular to me, it's a side. To me, it is a side. Like, and it's something. And I will say though, 
that I'll put sweet potato casserole on my dessert plate as well. Like, I will hit sweet potato casserole two or three times before the initial meal is over, and that's not counting the leftovers. But Chad likes it with the marshmallows on top. Oh, no, I like the nuts. I like the nuts mm-hmm. and, the, and the brown sugar on top. Yes, I don't like marshmallows that much. I don't either. Um, unless it's on a s'more. Yeah. So, do you have any specialty dishes that you make from Thanksgiving leftovers? I don't. We don't have any leftovers. Because <laughs> she's a big <laughs> humble <laughs> <laughs> no, we just eat a lot. We, we just like to eat. <laughs> so we eat them. My Christmas shopping is almost done. We never have Thanksgiving leftovers because I get in the kitchen and I lay down like smack. And like anything else we have to brag about, like I'm watching Hallmark movies I, because it's Christmas and I feel good. Like humble brags. I love it. I love it. Humble brags. So there's, I know there's... Do you have any specialty dishes that you make for Thanksgiving itself? For Thanksgiving? Well, I don't make this, but Chad's mom, Chad loves asparagus casserole, which I think is gross. I'm intrigued. Um, but his mom makes it, and so I just call her to make it because I don't like it. And I, so. and so she makes it for him. And she makes the sweet potato casserole like he likes it. Um, but besides that dressing, I make the dressing. That's, a, that's an art. Uh, like, that's one um, of those things for you that know how to make it really nice. And I make the green bean casserole. That's my one of my favorites. So I like that. Pecan pie. Lemon pie. Mm. Lemon pie. Mm. Do you do pumpkin anything? No. Oh. <laughs> humble, humble brag. She's not basic. No pumpkin. Um, and then, of course, deviled eggs, which I used to make with my grandmother. Every Thanksgiving, she cooked the entire meal, you know, for the whole family. And so Thanksgiving morning, we lived next door. I would run out to her house, and that was my job, was to make deviled eggs. Why? She, I was probably in her way, but she let me do it. That's and sweet. So, I, um, so we have deviled eggs. And um, of course, we make mashed potatoes and macaroni, because when the kids were little, you know, that's what they wanted. They didn't care so much for the casseroles. So you live in the South. You so have to have those them. things. We have a deviled egg eating contest. Oh, yes, it gets pretty heated gets pretty heated and Candace I'm looking at you just because you're pregnant this year and eating for two does not mean that I'm going to take it easy on you like go ahead and know that I'm coming for you so how does it work well you just load your plate up and you sit there and you look at each other eye to eye and you go this is number 13 and just shovel them in so do the same people do it every year well now this is usually between me and my cousin Candace my sister Meg will get in there sometimes um, but then now our, the Blanchard men have a weigh-in every year and they get the scales out and whoever has gained the most weight from the previous year wins. <laughs> <laughs> and it's become a thing and then that usually turns into like a push-up contest and then that sometimes will turn into a foot racer who can throw something further. We're very Cro-Magnon, like 1800 BC kind of folk. So you got the girls like shoveling eggs and then you got the boys like doing push-ups and weighing in and that's our Thanksgiving and our Christmas is not too terribly much different. We are... Well, I'm I'm going to need you to message me if you win. I will. I'll let you know. I'll be like, I had 32 deviled eggs. I don't know what the record is. Who makes all of them? Well, when my grandmother Junk was alive, she made some, like, she laid the smack down on some deviled eggs. Like, hers were the best, but Aunt Tara stepped up her game. They're pretty good, but now now she's gotten to where she only puts out like a tray of 24, and she's like, oh. we're all grown-ups here. Respect the eggs. So, <laughs> so what are you going to do? Not for competition. Not for, these are not for competition? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess you're going to have to learn. We could have made deviled eggs tonight. You know, that is a, that is, I tried making those at Easter, and I read the Pioneer Woman's recipe, and she puts just a little, it says a splash of vinegar. And so I'm thinking like Splash Mountain Splash, and so they were like deviled eggs full of egg so, diarrhea. This is like egg diarrhea. It was bad. Like that those aren't really good. They were gorgeous. They were. They were. They weren't were deviled. They were diarrhea. Diarrhea <laughs> eggs is what I made. I have a question. Okay. So, like a lot of coaches watch football and yell at the TV. Do you ever find yourself yelling at cooking shows? <laughs> And who's um, your favorite? To to watch mm. my favorite to watch. He's waiting on you to say Rachel. I, I I like to watch Reed Drummond. 
I do. I like her. She's a little more, she's more down to earth and more my my speed. Um, yelling at them, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, when we watch the sh the the contest, you know, the the competition ones. Um, I guess maybe sometimes not like he yells at the TV though. Oh, what are you doing? He what are you doing? Raisins. Who puts raisins in that? That is, that's actually one of my pet thieves is when raisins show up in anything. Yeah, I'm even offended when they're in their own box. I'm like, why don't you put raisins in that box? Uh, it's just messed up grapes. They are. I prefer my messed up grapes in bottles. Pressed, preferably in the foothills of California. <laughs> that's just me though. I mean, sorry. Sorry, mom. I'm gonna check on these potatoes. Pretty close. Pretty close. Maybe just a couple more minutes. Okay, we'll give them a couple more minutes. Do you like how I'm just like, they're, they're close. A couple more minutes. Like, I am the Cousin Eddie of the kitchen. Like, so, do you have any Christmas movie quotes? Like, I have gotten to the point where since we watched the Griswold Family Christmas, we tend to quote Elf constantly. We quote The Grinch because The Grinch is my all-time favorite because I am him until he goes soft and then I feel like he's a quitter. But before he, like when he's up until he gives Christmas back, I'm, we're kindred souls. And Griswold is the other one that we're like, I find myself quoting constantly. And my mom's like, okay, my children are weird. She feels like she's failed something. So do you ever quote Christmas movies? Um, I, not really on a regular basis. <laughs> Sometimes like, before, like, I have quoted um, in Elf where he says the best way to spend Christmas year is singing loud for all to hear. Yes. Like we, I, I have, but not regularly. See, now sometimes I'll just be walking through the house and Madden will say something about like Santa and I'll be like, Santa! Oh my God, I know him! And she's like, Mom, stop it! Or my little brother today, he said something. He's like, hey, can you, he handed Madden a plate throw away. And I was like, oh, can I get you some eggnog? Something to eat? And I drive you in the middle, into the middle of nowhere and leave you for dead. And he's like, what? And I was like, it's from the Griswolds. Calm down. I'm not going to really do that because mom would miss you. Like, Bailey would be gone for 10 minutes and she'd know. She'd go, something's wrong with Bailey. Her spotty senses would tingle. Poor booger. So we're on the Hallmark kick. Kids are watching Dawson's Creek. You don't yell at the television when you're watching cooking shows. What is your favorite cooking competition show, though? Like, I'm a big Chopped fan. Like, I love Chopped. I love Chopped. Chop will suck me in. Like, that's the show that I'm like, I'll just watch one more. I used to watch the cake ones a lot. I used uh, to, um, when our, when Brayden was, before he started kindergarten, I stayed home a couple of years with him. And so I would just cook cakes as, you know, just some extra money or whatever. And, um, so I love to watch those. But I haven't watched those in a long time. It's like, well, Iron Chef. I don't I like Iron Chef. Uh, um, Cake, like, I watched Cake, but Madden wants our wedding cake to be. She's like, I want your wedding cake to come from there. And I'm like, there goes your college tuition for yeah. a two layer cake, yeah. two tiers. But and I always have this great, like, you watch them and they make it look so easy. And so I'm like, I could do that. I can make my own wedding cake. <laughs> Y'all are all invited to come eat. My you could do cake. a show for that. And you could practice your wedding cake. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah. Because we've seen how well I scoop out a potato. Can you imagine me playing with that fondant? Fond is it fondant or fondant? I, I think it's kind of like tomato, tomato, however you want to say it. How did the French say it? If you're French and you know how to say it, call me and teach me. So I'd love to know. Hey, Misty, do you have any um, oven mitts? Yes, I do. Oh, they're sizzling. Okay. I like it. I love potatoes. I kind of wish Ben was here to taste the potatoes because he's a potato guy. Yay, I did it! Look at that. So are you ready to taste them? Yes. Okay. Let's see. I've never met a potato that I didn't really like, so. I mean, let me not blow all the potatoes up. These are all mine. Oh my God. Okay. So run to your nearest convenience store, grocery store. Do you have potatoes at a gas station? I, I don't know. I've never seen any. Maybe? Maybe you can. Maybe loves. Oh, yes. Buggies. I've got Buggies. 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 Buggies probably has them saran wrapped in their custom. But these are delicious. So, definitely something that I recommend that everybody do. 
like get on the Oxford defenses level and get you some twice baked potatoes. These are these are delicious. I'm gonna try my hand at Thanksgiving and I'll take pictures and post them for you guys to see because I'm a walking Pinterest fail. So thank you so much for this and for coming and for teaching me how to do it. And Thanks for having me. I love that you um, just kind of eyeball it's like the the scooping. Like I love that. I I do. I have like a, I made my girls a cookbook for when they graduated from high school. They each got a cookbook. And so I do have some measurements down for them, for their sake, but um, yeah, I just throw it in there. You don't want to start out eyeballing it. You want to yeah. Try it. Let me send you the recipe. <laughs> You're going to try this at home. I'm going to eyeball it. But I do want to copy that cookbook because I'm officially, I graduated high school. I was like a cookbook. So you that's the only thing I've graduated, but I would like a cookbook. Oh, in driving school. I graduated driving school. So I would like a cookbook to commit to commiserate that. I'll work on it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Also, um, Miss Cochran's daughters are single and beautiful, and they know how to cook stuff like this. Like, you didn't have to domesticate them because they've already been domesticated. They're housebroken. So there you go. Domesticated. They're not feral. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to give it up. I'm going to give it up. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And you've just borne witness to Friday Night Wives. But tonight we cook with Coach Cochran's wife. So cooking with Cochran. And again, that's brought to you by Aligned Insurance and Auto Owners Insurance. And that's Michael Delosier. And Delosier, like, don't call him if you're looking for a date unless you know how to cook like this. Like, I'm going to go ahead and speak it out for him on his behalf. But thank you guys so much for being here. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.